Yo, what's good, guy? You know what it is, YouTube. We're back with another one. You know what it is, man. You know what it is, yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. It's your boy, King James. We're back with another one, man. You know, and you know, today we're gonna do a little light topic. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk about rappers. I just rappers. Rappers who fell off. And rappers who transition. Rappers who fell off versus rappers who transitioned into other genres, man. So yeah, man, let's get this be started, man. So we gonna start with the rappers who fell off, man. We're gonna start with that list, you know what I mean? And we got a pretty long list for this one. So yeah. Sit back tight. Listen, you know what I mean? So first we got J Mod, man. You know what I'm saying? Lil' kid came in the scene. Do this little thing, you know what I'm saying? His last biggest check was with Ricky Rick, man. Unfortunately, he passed away, man. You know what I'm saying? Do the suicide. And yeah, man. Long live Ricky, man. But yeah. Yeah, that was last. That was Jay Marty's last biggest song, man. And he did one with Ricky. Yeah. Then he fell off. Then you got the big heads. That nigga just disappeared into nowhere. It's thin air, nigga. But he was skin not very thin ice, you know what I mean? He was skin in territory that he was gonna not last in, bro. You know what I mean? We don't want no love songs from a Playboy, you know what I mean? We've, we've heard that way, way too many times before, man. This Playboy is making love songs and stuff. We don't wanna hear that. So yeah. And then we got Champagne 69. <sighs> I didn't even not talk about these niggas. Let's just move straight to the the other one. Stilo Macolite. Yeah I me. Mean, was this nigga ever popping? <laughs> That's my question. Was he ever ever popping man? Was this nigga ever doing something? Nah, I don't think he was ever doing something, man. He only got popped because of his affiliation with Boys and Box. You know what I mean? Ricky Rick and OK Man Kuke. That was the only reason this nigga was popping. He never made a great song. Never had a good song. He had features with good artists, but they weren't good songs. You know what I mean? It happens all the time, man. Okay, and the next one, we got Moosley. Moosley then fell the fuck off. It's a shame, man, because she was one of the top female rappers, man. But she decided to be confused and do a whole lot of other shit, man. Promoting herself as the new Brenda Farsi, which we all wasn't feeling. I don't, I've never seen Brenda Farsi with no hair. Yeah, you know I mean, so man, oh, what the fuck is she talking about? But we gonna let that go. Next one, man. We got Zena. A nigga from Cash Time. You know what I mean? Man, ever since Cash Time, this nigga fell off, man. He ain't never been like up, up. Like, only time he was up, he was in Cash Time. And he was the best lyricist in there. You know what I mean? But his partner fell off too. And he next on the list. Kid X. They both was in there. They both was in Cash Time. They both fell the fuck off. They both did nothing. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. Like you X had a bigger impact though in changing rap. You know what I mean? Most of the rap music coming out today is because of Kid X, man. Questa switched up his sound because of Kid X, man. This thing, this genre called what do you call this? Some coke because of Kid X, bro. You know what I mean? Zonkoko exists because of Kid X, man. You, you don't get Zonkoko because of no other nigga, man. Kid X is a creator that sound, bro. But we don't say that for another video for these falling off ass niggas. Yeah, man. I wanted to put Mark right here, but he's not a rapper. So, yeah. <laughs> so, let's get past that. Another nigga who fell off, which is disappointing. I'm disappointed by these last three niggas, man. Zinger, Kid X, and Flame. 
Flame, man. Flame was disappointing, bro. Dropped the album this year. One of the wackest albums of this year. I don't know what the fuck he was doing there. Hey, that album has no direction, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing with Flame. All these albums have direction, bro. Commander, the first one, had direction. This one, ain't got shit, bro. This shit was empty, bro. It felt like the album cover, bro. It was just full of flowers and stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was sweet as hell, bro. I don't know what's going on with this album, bro. What the hell is wrong with this guy, man? Was he making an album or... You know, was he wasting our time, bro? This nigga made us go stream some trash. Man, I'm angry at this nigga, man. Flame. Gotta do better, bro. Like Candyman is his best work. According to people. Which for me, is not. You know what I mean? For me, Clouds is his best work, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the flavor I like from Flame. You know what I mean? Commander 2 was out of trash. I ain't never heard a nigga bumping a Flame sound this year, bro. No nigga. Ain't no nigga bumping a Flame sound this year, bro. Like for real, for real, let's be real about that shit, bro. Ain't no nigga about be flamed this year. But let's just get on with the list, man. Let's be gonna keep doing this, talk about this nigga. So yeah, man, next on that list is my E. Should I talk about this nigga? Oh, nah, man, shit, man. Also fell off. He also is transitioning. You know what I mean? I wanted to put him in the transitioning rappers list. But he fell out, so yeah, I ain't gonna put him in that list, so yeah, yeah. And the only reason why most of these transitioning ass rappers is transitioning is because they fell off. Some of them came in the game already transitioned, but some of them were falling off, so they've transitioned. And we're gonna get into that, but for now, we're doing the falling off. The next one, we got Frank Casino, man. Nigga fell off. You hear that forever song, bro. That shit fell off. And it's crazy how niggas do the last song with Ricky Rick. The last popping song with Ricky Rick. And then they fall off instantly after that. You know what I mean? Like, the first nigga on the list, J Man. Last popping song, Ricky Rick. This nigga, Frank Casino. Last popping song, Ricky Rick. The nigga passes away, man. I'm sorry for Ricky Rick, man. All love to his family, man. And stuff, man. Rest in peace. You know, long live the legend. You know, yeah. Let's move on with the list, man. Frank Casino, you a disappointment. Yeah. El Tito, man, you been fell off. I don't know why you in this list. I'm gonna skip right to the next one, man. You been fell off. I ain't finna talk about you, man. You been fell off. Your whack ass. Nah, you're not kind. She's also a transitioning rapper. Don't forget that. She's doing piano now. Which I find just super irritating. Why is she doing piano? This bitch barely can speak our languages, bro. Now she's gonna do piano. Come on, bro. Yeah, then next we got Coolie Chan. There's also another transitioning rapper. But I ain't bumping no piano song from Coolie Chan. I mean, his hip hop songs were barely, barely listenable. Why am I gonna listen to his piano song? Like, Sega Bui, like, what is what is that, bro? Sega Bui, who came back, nigga? We didn't even want you to come back, nigga. Retire. You don't want your ass in this bitch. It's your whack ass album, nigga. You released a whack ass album, like 2020 or last year? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> You released a whack ass album, man. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Anybody bumping that shit, I'm cutting that shit off. <laughs> yeah. Next, we got the last with this falling off ass. Doing a podcast. You know what I mean? But I don't wanna be a part of that podcast. I ain't finna lie. But yeah, the last, you know what I mean? The last that fell off. But this nigga is like Tiger in our, in our industry, man. This nigga falls off and comes back, falls off and comes back. So yeah, man. I'm expecting a comeback from the Liz, man. I'm expecting one of his last greatest songs, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not next year. Maybe in 2024, maybe 2025. You never know. 
But this nigga gonna come back definitely. The less he's gonna make a comeback. For real, for real. He's gonna drop his song. Let's go, go hard. Gonna have people. You know what I'm saying? Tweaky. You know what I'm saying? He's not a, the best local rapper like Tiger. You know what I'm saying? Tiger is exactly the same as this nigga, man. They both the same. They're not lyrical. They're not, they don't have substance. But they just make great party anthems, man. They make great party anthems, bro. And yeah, last but not least on this falling off list, man. Of the niggas who fell off in 2022, we got Max, man. Max Magazine. Nigga who took fucking 15 years to drop a fucking album. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga who killed his own career, bro. I ain't never seen a nigga who killed his own career like this nigga. Even Jake Electronico is better than this nigga, man. You know how, the, how Americans had to wait for Jay Electronica to drop an album? Same shit with this nigga, man. We had to wait for Max to drop an album, bro. He was like chilling, like Max, when you finna drop, bro? Cause you going hard on these features, bro. And these songs, bro. You going hard. And then he dropped the trash ass album. Oh my god. I don't even know if people remember that shit, bro. I don't even remember that shit, but I ain't even finna tell you one song of that shit, bro. I ain't finna lie to you. I don't even remember even one song of that shit. I listened to that shit once and cut it off. I was like, damn, nah, I'm finna not listen to this trash. What is this, bro? This is not the max I know. But yeah, that's it for the list of niggas who fell off, man. And then now we got transitioned ass rappers, man. These niggas who done turned around and thought, yeah, it's a good thing to do another chapter, man. I wanna laugh, but I'm so disappointed at these niggas. Yeah, so let's start off. First one, we got Quest. Yeah, you know I mean, this nigga transitioned, dropped the album like three to four weeks ago with Gabs of this I don't even have to explain that. You hear the producer's name, bro. Do I have to explain that this nigga is transitioned? Okay, man, I ain't finna explain that. Go, go bump that shit and, and come back to me and tell me what you think. Yeah, man, and then we got AKA. He's finna f- drop a full piano album next year. I ain't finna listen to that trash. Man, you heard Paradise. You heard Lemonade. I ain't finna discuss none of them songs, man. You heard that shit. You heard my previous videos, me talking about that shit. I ain't feeling none of them tracks, man. Both of them, man. Even nasty C on them, the need was white, bro. Chilling with a 10 in the corner, Maradona. Nigga, what? But okay, man, we got Foca. You know, Focalistic is the. Uh, is one of them rappers who started off as a rapper. But when he blew up, he wasn't known for being a rapper. He blew up with the piano sound, so I can't blame him. He transitioned before blowing up. So I ain't gonna blame him, tradition ass rapper. Yeah, I mean, we got Terra. At least he ain't doing piano. At least he didn't transition to piano. So uh, he transitioned to some pop ass shit. Yeah, I mean, he's doing pop and stuff. So yeah, I'm cool with Terra. He can do his little singing. Yeah, I mean, then we got Gigi LeMay. Who, who the fuck was pumping this person? Did you ever pump Gigi LeMay? Last three years, she did like three piano songs, bro. Three. I think I'm capping. It's more than three. But yeah, she got like three on the radio. Three popping ass piano songs. Which I do not know why people are bumping. Why you bumping that shit? Okay. But okay. Let's move on. There we got Reason. Who calls himself Seasway Alkaline. Bro, I ain't finna talk about that, bro. Super disappointed in this guy, bro. It was supposed to be one of the best rappers we have. Super disappointed in this guy. I ain't finna talk about this guy because he's disappointed. Bro. I'm moving on. Moving on. We got Stan. Young Stan. Young Stan. Young Stan. 
Some nigga considered this nigga the best rapper we have in 2022. <laughs> Man, all I can do is laugh at that, bro. Like, is you serious? This nigga best rapper of this year? Best rapper? Best rapper? Nah, nigga. Nah, man. Your, your ass gotta be twisted, man, for thinking that. This nigga blew up as a piano artist, man. But he started his career in music as a rapper. So, yeah. He's also one of them transitioning ass niggas before he blew up, so I ain't gonna blame him too. He makes actual good piano music. I don't actually bump his shit. I, I, I ain't finna lie, I like his shit, man. Cause he, he's different, man. He's actually, you know, pouring out his heart into that shit, bro. He actually, you know, like he got the colloquial, he got the land, he lingo, you know what I mean? He got the swag, you know what I mean? He's doing his little thing, you know what I mean? But that's not what it is right now, we ain't talking about that. Then last but not least, man, we got Costa Teachers. You're a Costa teach. Yeah, man, I ain't finna explain none of that. You already know this nigga blew up as a rapper. And then you saw he was falling off because he got whack ass bars, choosing whack ass beats, featuring whack ass rappers. You know what I mean? So he knew he wasn't gonna last in the rap scene, man. Because we got real rappers. We got A-Reach, we got Nasty C. You know what I mean? We got real rappers in this shit. We ain't go. The old lame ass shit So he transitions You know what I mean Taking advantage of him knowing uh, our, our, our languages Or our street language Yeah, you know what I mean So yeah man Yeah man That's what the list looks like right now man Let me know your thoughts man. You know Tell me man If you think I got it wrong man You know what I mean But yeah man it's Falling off Versus transitioning man Tell me your thoughts, man. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know what it is, man. Support King Dame. You know, turn on that post notification bell so you can get notified every time I drop a video. You know, uh, yeah, man. I see. I'm out this beat.